One of the big questions tonight, what caused this helicopter to go down and when will we have more information? Team 12's William Pitts is in Prescott where researchers at Embry-Riddle train future crash investigators reviewing crashes to find clues into what can bring down an aircraft. It's a bit like a murder mystery and a jigsaw puzzle all at once. You know all these pieces come together to make an aircraft. What you don't know is how they got this way. So we try to recreate reality to the extent we can. All the crashes out here are laid out just as they were the first time they went down. There's a door. Here at Embry-Riddle in Prescott, they train future crash investigators in what to look for, using real crashes and recreating the crash site, like this Robinson helicopter that crashed in 2007. This is how investigators figured out why. See if I've got all the aircraft here or if it's someplace else. It's not. Half the helicopter is missing. That tells Professor Bill Waldock there are more pieces farther away. So the actual accident started over in that area of sky, and as things progressed, can ended up over here. But here's the chunk of tail rotor that came off. It's separated from the tail boom. Without that tail rotor, the helicopter's out of control. So when it comes off, <clears throat> helicopter just starts spinning around. So now Bill knows the tail rotor came off before the crash. It's rare to find, you know, I guess I'd have to call it a smoking gun on an aircraft accident, but this is probably as close as it comes. That red warning sticker, the only red thing on the helicopter. Now Bill looks at the main rotor, the big one. And starts surveying out toward the tip. Right about here. Red paint right on the end. Bill's seen this before. The pilot was fighting wind. The rotors dropped down and cut off the tail of the helicopter. Human error. This pilot flew planes. He was just starting to learn helicopters. The fixed wing pilots know bad things can really go wrong and you can still land the aircraft. Whereas with helicopters, uh, it's a collection of moving parts working in opposition to each other. Any one of which fails will cause the entire machine to stop flying. Bill says the accident rate of helicopters is higher than planes, but the process is the same on every aircraft. Eliminate what didn't bring it down, and you'll find out what did. In Prescott, William Pitts, 12 News.